Congressman Brian Mass, Republican out of Florida, member of the House Foreign Affairs Committee, done a lot of time. Sir, thank you for your time today and good morning to you. To you. Uh, here's the exchange with Peter Ducey and Corrine Jean-Pierre on which side the White House might be favoring. He harder on Benjamin Netanyahu than he is on the terrorist leader of Hamas. The president has been very, very clear about Hamas leaders and what they have done. He was asked a question, he answered it directly, uh, but Hamas is responsible. They have more American blood on their hands. The president was clear about that in his statement. We sat here yesterday just wondering, where, where is the outrage? And there is a, there was a Jewish American student who was interviewed the other day, and he said an American was just executed in cold blood overseas. I mean, I'm not that old, but I can remember a time when that happened, there was outrage, sir. I think you can look at that and you say, Hamas, Sinwar, whoever it was, they made a direct choice. They decided we could take this American hostage or the Israelis, we could put them in a taxi cab and send them to Tel Aviv or set them on the beach, say, come pick them up. Whatever they want to do, they chose execution. And why did they choose that? Because they don't see Kamala Harris as a credible threat. They don't see what she says as any kind of credible deterrent. They don't fear anything that they would have to defend against in terms of American offense coming against them. That's why we can surmise that they made that choice to directly kill, make the choice to kill an American hostage. And the fact that we don't see outrage is an understatement. You see, in fact, the opposite. You see the Hamas movement becoming more prevalent on college campuses again as, as kids return to the campuses. Uh, if you pull up call for number one, please. This is a poll that show three polls that show that President Trump tops Harris on the issue of Israel and Hamas uh, in the ABC poll, Wall Street Journal poll, Quinnipiac. So I guess you take that evidence for what it is. And I know that the Republican Jewish Committee will be meeting this week. Uh, Donald Trump, I understand, will be speaking to them. That same young man that was talking about the uh, hostage that was executed, the American, he also said, you're crazy if you vote, if you're a Jewish American and you vote Democrat, you're crazy. That was his words. I'm wondering what you're hearing from your constituents or what the Republican Jewish coalition hopes to get out of this push to try to get these voters in the last 62 days of the election. I hear the same question being asked constantly from October 7, October 8, all in the days after. Why have we not seen a commitment from Harris and Biden to say, listen, you took Americans. Americans are going to come and kill you for taking them. You better return them immediately. Why do they not have the fear of God in them? And people mm -hmm. are coming to the conclusion, well, there is a reason they don't have the fear of God in them. It's because they're constantly getting the mixed message of what will take place. Well, we want a ceasefire or we want a ceasefire immediately or no, you should fear this, but no, we're going to build you a port in Gaza. But no, the people here on this college campus, we're going to give them scholarships and bring in people from Gaza and build them a safe space. You get all of these mixed messages coming by and people are seeing that so clearly. We uh, have spoken to many students who have gone back to class and, you know, frankly, they're, they're concerned. Uh, here's a few of them a bit earlier today talking about exactly that. I honestly don't find it fair for these students to take away the education that I've dreamed of my entire life. When you have anti-Semitism lurking in the shadows, and you deny it instead of addressing it, that sends a pretty clear message about everything else that you're doing. It's all talk and no action. I have not seen tangible examples mm -hmm. of the administration taking note of that. And truly, it's gross negligence. So what we saw in New York on Monday and what we saw yesterday for the first day classes at Columbia, th this seems to be the left's new battle cry. You know, whether it was Occupy Wall Street 12, 14 years ago or George Floyd four years ago, th th this seems to be the issue now for this election. Do you agree? Yeah. I would agree that they're making this an issue for this election. I think you're going to see it ramp up as we get closer and closer to November. And I think you asked the question, maybe what can Congress do about this? You're going to see us go back into Washington in this next week. There's going to be a government funding deadline and everybody should be looking at their representatives saying, are you going to extract every dollar that was going to Columbia or going to Harvard or going to MIT or going to UC uh, LA and Berkeley? Are you going to extract every dollar that was going to these places? where they're going to hold Jewish students hostage inside of community centers and other places. And, and that's a question that America will be looking at. All right. Congressman Brian Mass, thank you yeah. so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you.
Hey everyone, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, please click like and subscribe. I will be back on YouTube with more exclusive content, so stay tuned.